The difference between effective leadership and micromanagement can be looked at in terms of degree of liberty, as in the amount of liberty that a leader allows for from their employee or from their team member. Consider this parallel. If you're explaining a story, if you're trying to instruct someone, if you're sharing about your day, you don't tend to go moment by moment, instant by instant, piece of story by piece of story to explain yourself. You can spend an entire day steadily articulating all that transpired in a few minutes or in an hour of your own experience. When having conversation, you don't go into that kind of detail. Typically, you give an outline. You break down what's most important to give the idea of your story, the idea of your instruction. And instead of worrying about whether or not the person listening understands every single explicit detail within the story, effective communication takes place when you're allowing the person listening to fill in the gaps, to draw connections between the points, the nodes that you give them. And as you share the outline of your story or your instructions, the person listening, the recipient, they fill in the gaps in their mind as they listen to you and it creates the story or recreates the story within their mind. The opposite of this is nearly the equivalent of speaking to somebody from an instruction manual. It's not conversation. Similarly with leadership, micromanagement, the equivalent of reading to someone an instruction manual is going step by step in explicit detail, unrelenting detail of every step, every task that you need someone to accomplish. But this, in a way, removes a certain liberty from that person, them as an individual. Just as in conversation, when you give someone the nodes to connect, dots to connect, main points in which they can recreate a story by drawing inferences of how steps between these nodes take place. And in that, there is a freedom, there is a liberty that you give a person, that you allow for a person to draw those connections. So too in managing someone, working with someone, working with a team, by giving the guidelines, by giving the points of reference amidst a narrative or amidst a workflow, you allow for someone to creatively and on their own or amidst the team, consider and determine the steps needed or the actions needed to connect from one node to the, to the next, from one step to the next, from one place to the next place. Now you need to be able to clearly articulate where you are and where you need to go. You need to let your employee or your team member know what the goal is, what they're trying to accomplish, and give a workflow of what it takes to get there. But by leaving room for that team member, for that employee, to make decisions along the way for how to get to each step, for them to deploy their skill, their labor into taking that project from step to step. You allow for them to express a degree of creativity, for them to be more than cogs in a machine. In a way, it is liberty. Number of conversations that I have with freelancers that I hire for this project, this podcast, they have workflows, they have explicit instructions related to what I give them and what they need to accomplish with what I give to them. For some, it's giving them an audio file to mix. For some, it's giving them a transcript to then edit or to revise. For others, it's giving ideas, ideas of directions that I'd like to take where I get back feedback. In that process, there are clear markers of what success looks like, what I'm looking for, what's needed. And yet there is room for each of these freelancers, each of these contractors to take their skill set, apply it to the problem, and to, in their own way, come up with a solution that returns to me what I was looking for. In this way, not only is what I'm seeking to have accomplished actually accomplished, but along the way, I'm not wasting more time than I need to in articulating the job that needs to be completed. And at least so far, those who I've worked with, those who I've hired, continue to have interest in working with me, to continue being hired by me to complete these roles. Leave room for your team or your coworkers or your employees to connect the dots, whether that's in conversation and storytelling, or if it's in giving directives for the mission that needs to be accomplished.